Open your eyes Step by step you walking through the door Turn on the light You're all Shutting us out Like you never act like this before Turning around I don't wanna lose you anymore Falling down No one's gonna save you from your storm Hello, Lyndon. My name is Police Chief Gomez. I'm glad that I can meet you today. <sighs> so, I'm sorry that you were the last one to be in interrogated, well, no, interviewed, about what happened, but there were so many of you, and we had to get the fullest story from each person. You can return back to your dorm after I ask a few questions, is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Okay. So, can you explain what you were doing in the library? It was after hours. I was trying to do a study group with my friends because our annoying English teacher, Miss Eleanor, gave us an assignment, and I didn't particularly enjoy it. It was on a good book, though, called Dark Places. Anyways, I was reading that book and we were answering questions about the first chapter and then out of nowhere I hear I hear this noise and I turn around and symphony music's playing and there's some guy with a knife can you describe what this man looked like uh I don't really know what to say he had some sort of paley grayish robe on and he was holding what appeared to be a butcher knife a square looking butcher knife um he had a weird gold mask on with some black around the eyes and mouth okay that's what the other said um do you know what the song was that he was playing I have absolutely no clue. If I was to guess, I'd assume it was Beethoven. Okay. Huh. That's very odd. And this actually happened. Just to clarify. We captured no video of this whatsoever. And given that recent video leak, we've been getting a lot of fake reports. So, I'd be comforted to know that this actually happened, Mr. Linden. It did. I don't know what you want me to say. It did happen. I was chased by a killer. I ran upstairs. The bathrooms were locked, so I couldn't hide in there. So I went into some weird little room where I found Ethan cowering in the corner and Myra holding some weapon to defend herself, and I was holding the door closed so the killer wouldn't come and kill us. Now... Are you going to try to accuse me of anything else? I wasn't accusing you. I wanted the full story. <sighs> I have done... 10 interviews so far. It's frustrating. I just want to go home and relax. But I can't, given the severity of your claim. So... <sighs> Wait... Let me ask a question. No. I guess you answered that. Okay, fine. Go home. I mean, go to your dorm. You probably have class or something. Thanks.
Please, Chief Gomez. I am so happy you're letting me go. This is just riveting. Like, thank you. Like, do you want a round of applause or something? Don't make me regret my decision. Now go home. I'm so glad to be back to talk with you guys. How did your interviews go? Mine went fine. He asked all the typical questions you could expect. <sighs> I don't think that they're gonna solve this anytime soon. The police chief seemed a little burnt out when he interviewed me. He definitely didn't seem like he was in any hurry to get this case solved. I got that impression too. It was a little unnatural if you ask me. Shouldn't that police chief be like ecstatic that there's a big case to solve? It would get his name out there. I don't know. I I'm just... We could have died. I, I don't... I just want to take a nap, honestly. I don't know why you guys wanted to talk about this. I don't want to die. And I don't know why that person came after us, but this is, this is, this is bad. Garrett, don't be such a wimp. <sighs> it was probably just some prank. The person didn't actually harm any of us. Notice that, even though they did have a knife that appeared to be real. And for the most of us escaped, the only ones that were held up were Ethan, My Myra, and Lyndon, but yet again, this quote-unquote killer didn't actually make it to them, so I don't think we have anything to fear. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You know, Orion, you may be in the criminal justice department, but well, cr criminal justice studies, but you honestly have no sense of mystery or adventure. From what I could tell, our lives were in danger. This person came after me, after I may have or may have not accidentally bumped into them, and they tried to kill me. YouTube may have got away scotch-free, but this person was trying to break down the door. I <laughs> I was holding it closed with everything I could, and they were pounding to get that door open. You want to tell me that it was just some prank? Go ahead, but I know what I saw, and what I saw was a killer. Ugh, Lyndon. The point was to try to calm down Garrett. Ugh, Garrett, you'll be fine. It was just a prank, right? Linden, I am not gonna attest to that. Garrett, you can make whatever decision you want about what it was. I know that it wasn't a prank. Uh, I, I, I'm scared. I, I'm going into marketing because I just don't like scary situations like you, Orion. I'm sorry, I don't like talking to scary people. No offense, Lyndon, either, since you're doing sociology and psychology, that sort of thing. Why would I take offense to that? These- the people that I'd be working with are normal people. They're just having rough times, like we are now. It makes no sense to just refuse to help people who want help, people who need help. That's why I want to be a psychologist, so I can help others. I don't want to just sit down and let others deal with their own hard problems by themselves. That's very noble and all, but... <laughs> I actually want to help stop the criminals who traumatize the people. So, Lyndon, you're gonna have to realize that my job's more important. If I may say something, both of you don't actually have a job right now. We're in college. <sighs> you are such a party pooper. Come on, let's go back inside before another spooky incident occurs. 
Why did I agree to do this paint night thing? What the heck is that? Oh, heck to the no. This is not happening. Who is that? He's following me. Stay away, stay away. <gasps> that's the that's the guy who attacked us the night before. Oh my god. Help, help, officer, officer, help me. What's wrong? Do you need help? Ma'am, I don't know what the problem is here. I checked around the block. I didn't see anyone. I don't know who was chasing you, but they're long gone by now. By the way, what are you doing all the way out here in the middle of the night? It's not safe at the city at this hour. There's a curfew, you know. I... I was doing a paint night thing. You know those things where you like get a group of friends and you go painting at a place and they like tell you how to make a painting and then eventually it turns out looking sort of okay even though yours didn't look as good as the instructors? Those types of places? Yes, my wife goes to one, why? That's where I was. Ugh. I'm going to the college nearby. And I am an art major, so I was trying to get some practice and learn from an instructor, and some man just started chasing me, or something, someone, I don't know, but they were wearing the same mask that they wore when they attacked me the night before. You were attacked by this person the night before? Yes. I, w I went in the police station and I talked about it with, uh, the police chief. I think his name was Gomez? Oh. Okay, then. Well, why don't you just go home, Iris? Seems like it's not safe for you out here. If you want, I can give you a ride. Th th thanks. <sighs> I'll just go to my car. It's nearby. You must have scared off whoever the person was that was chasing me. Thank you. No problem. Just... Be safe. I will. <sighs> what the heck is that? Someone playing symphony music? What is this? Hey, someone punched out the lights. Ugh. Maybe that girl wasn't crazy. <sighs> I'll go and investigate. Probably some neighborhood hooligans. What the hell? Who leaves a music box out here? <sighs> Looks like whoever did is gone, but they punched out the lights down. There. Ugh. Frickin' hooligans. What can you do with them? Oh. <sighs> 